Hi and welcome, here is a new tutorial or a simple tip about FL Studio 12 and the mixer and how to add channels to the mixer and to remove them. I have this project here with this very simple beat and you can open up the mixer with this toggle button here. And I just want to show you what will happen when I play this now. You will see that every track in the mixer is displayed because it is mapped to a channel by default here in the channel rack. In the channel rack you see these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But you don't know which is which because there's only the insert 1, insert 2 stated here in the mixer. So let's assume there is no track assigned. I remove this here in the channel rack and now it also disappears in the mixer. And now I want to show you how you can add this whole channel rack to your mixer. So first select all these channels to be added to the mixer, like that. Then select the first track and choose Route Selected Channels starting from this track. And here they are with colors, with names, everything is added to the mixer. And what do you have now? When you play this, you see which channel is mapped to the track and you can change settings like the volume, like I do it here for this one. You can also change the balance. A lot of possibilities here. I can't show you everything. This is just a short introduction because in the next video I want to move on and show you how to add plugins to the different tracks. Let me just show you how you basically add a plugin. So let's select this master track here, which is above all other tracks. And we will add here on the right side a limiter. You can select it from the list here of plugins and they are added to the track. Okay, the last thing that I want to show you is, let's assume you added this channel here to this track, to track number 11. Okay, now it is added there. You can see the number in the channel rack, number 11. And how to remove this now? To remove this connection, you just choose a different track number in the channel rack. But the problem is, in the mixer it still looks like that this is still assigned. You see the color and you see the name. And to get rid of this, I always use this mixer presets. And there is a default. And I just drag it here into my mixer and it disappears. So that's it for this tutorial, or as I said, it is just a simple tip and an introduction to the mixer. In the next one, I want to show you the crossbeat plugging. That's really cool. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Here's the link and hope to see you soon on JNM.